Right, I just wanted to show this new Android Auto Cool Walk. So I've just updated my phone. Um, what you've got to do is, even though the software is updated, it still may show the old version of Android Auto. So you've got to go into your Android Auto app on your phone and clear the cache. I'm not going to go through that because it's easy enough to find. Just doing a quick search on Google. All depends on what version of Android you've got as well. Anyway, I'm just going to start my car up. So just like before, it boots up. Now what I've got, I've got it to set to play the previous music stream which I had. Now I don't generally listen to music, but I listen to the radio. So what that does, it will pick up the last radio station I was listening to. And hopefully he isn't playing any music. Of um, free to use ATMs. Cash there you machines. go. So that's come up there. But I'm just going to turn weird. the sound down. <clears throat> just in case that's playing music. Right, I don't know if you can see on the screen there. But in the, it shows like a, a background of um, the presenter who's on the show. Or whatever show you're listening to. It tells you the programme what's on and who the presenter is. You notice to the left and to the right, I've got a rewind if I wish to take it back so far and then skip back forward again. We've got the map system there, which I use Waze and you'll see the map now has got the curved edges on it. It's basically, I think he's trying to make it look more like Apple Play. Anyway, down the left hand side here, you can see previously used apps. So there's Waze, which I'm using. There's BBC Sounds, which is for the music I'm listening to there. <clears throat> call, so if I click the call button there, it should come up, oh, pressed it twice. It'll come up there with recents. And then you've got contacts. And more. You've got microphone there for Google. Weather report. High of 10 and a low of 6. It's all card, isn't it? Oh, yeah, you've so I'll just turn that sound back down again. Um, so I can press the Waze button, it takes it back to my mapping system. Now, this grid down here on the left hand side shows you all your apps. So, I have WhatsApp business on mine, which is good because it wasn't really supported properly on uh, the previous version. And you've got all your other things here. I've got a uh, quick call shortcuts down there as well but yeah it's pretty cool then you can just press that go back to Waze and while I'm driving along I can just say the magic words you know, <laughs> and then it'll do whatever I want it to do right just to go a little bit further into my box of tricks what I've got here I've also got my <coughs> old seven inch digital touchscreen there with all sorts of different apps on but all i've got is got this i've got this linked to this so and that is linked to my phone, mobile phone um and then the next thing i have is that which is my auto rockthrow so i can also ask her so i could just say alexa navigate to work There you go, so it's set my navigation on the screen, and that's through that device there. But obviously, I can ask her to do all my home automations as well. Alexa, exit navigation. Yeah, um, another thing with Android Auto if you click the clock in the corner, it'll give you any notifications you might have missed. I did like it better, so I can just slide that across. I did like it better when the clock was larger, but I'm not worked out how to get that over this side yet. And if you get a WhatsApp message, you'll get a banner come up across here. There you go, when you get a test message, 
get a message. I've got my girlfriend to send a test message, so it comes up on this side here, and then after so long, it bounces across to this side. So, and then what you can do, you can just play the message from there. Test. There we go. Do you, you want to reply? So then she's going to ask you, no. Okay then. And there we have it. So you've got the option there of swiping it, or you can press that button to reply. So I generally swipe it, and it's gone. As I said before, this shows the radio program which you've been, well, the radio station I listen to. If I'd have been listening to Amazon Music, it would have showed Amazon Music on there, or Spotify, or whatever. But I listen to my local radio station on BBC iPlayer or BBC Sounds, which you can see is recent app which has been used there. So if you want your previous music or radio station to start playing as soon as you turn your van on, back your stereo on, without you having to ask it or do anything, all you have to do is press the dots in the corner and we'll go to settings. So you've got all these different options here and as we scroll down, oh, let's see, it's a bit hard to do this. There you go, you see the option there, start music automatically. So you just make sure that's illuminated and then <clears throat> whatever last source you was playing like I said before Amazon Music, Spotify whatever you listen to I'll say I listen to a radio app so it could be BBC Sounds it could be Global Player any any of those internet service radio stations then that is how you get it to play automatically so I can come out of there go back to the main screen and that's that if I want to start playing the radio just press the play there we go. I'm going to play it for a second just so you know exactly what's going on. But as I also have my Auto LX LEXA to operate things in my van and for home so I can get the heating off when I get home. But yeah, so that is just. I, I like it. I like it. It um, seems a lot smoother. Than the previous version but yeah easy right if you like this video give it a thumbs up I said this was just my non techie way of showing you Android Auto Cool Walk see you soon guys